a new site on the streets of the Indian city of Jaipur. These female officers are part of a unit that's been formed to protect the public and in particular the city's women. We had three months special training. We were taught to ride scooters, karate and self-defense because sometimes there are really unruly people who can get physical. Our own safety should come first. 40,000 rape cases are reported annually in India, but the real number is thought to be much higher. Victims often don't report sexual assault, fearful of being judged or not believed by the country's overwhelmingly male police force. This squad patrols bus stops, colleges and parks where women can be vulnerable. This is very good because men will be scared when they see these women on duty. If one man gets beaten up, others will also feel the heat automatically if they're doing any wrong. That's why I think it's a really good move. The unit already seems to be making a difference here in Jaipur. Our team is doing a very good job. There's been a preventive effect. Wherever these teams are on patrol at various designated hotspots, activities such as street harassment have been completely reined in. The fatal gang rape of a Delhi student in 2012 caused national outrage. But nearly five years later, attacks remain widespread, with the capital recording an average of six rapes a day. Female units like these are set to be rolled out in several other cities, including maybe the capital as India seeks to clamp down on violence against women.